before we begin, please hit the subscribe button for more updates and upcoming videos. Building wealth, it's a topic that sparks heated debate, promotes quirky get-rich-quick schemes, and drives people to pursue transactions they might otherwise never consider. Basically, building wealth boils down to these three simple steps. While these steps are simple to understand, they're relatively not easy to follow. To accumulate wealth over time, you need to do three things. This means that before you can begin to save or invest, you need to have a long-term source of income that's sufficient to have some leftover after you've covered your necessities. This step may seem elementary, but for those who are just starting out or are in transition, this is the most fundamental step. Most of us have seen tables showing that a small amount regularly saved and compounded over time can eventually add up to substantial wealth. But those tables never cover the other sides of the story, that is, are you making enough to save in the first place? Keep in mind that there's only so much you can cut costs. If your costs are already cut down to bone, you should look into ways to increase your income. And not least, are you good enough at what you do? And do you enjoy it enough that you can do it for 40 or 50 years, in order to save that money? Once you have an income that's enough to cover your basics, you need to develop a proactive savings plan. You make enough money, you live pretty well, but you're not saving enough. What's wrong? There's only one reason why this occurs, your wants exceed your budget. The most important step is, to distinguish between what you really need, and what you merely want. Finding simple ways to save a few extra bucks here and there could include programming your thermostat to turn itself down when you're not at home, using plain unleaded gasoline instead of premium, keeping your tires fully inflated, buying furniture from a quality thrift shop, and learning how to cook. This doesn't mean that you have to be thrifty all the time. If you're meeting savings goals, you should be willing to reward yourself and splurge an appropriate amount once in a while you'll feel better and be motivated to make more money. Once you've set aside a monthly savings goal, you need to invest it prudently. You're making enough money and you're saving enough, but you're putting it all in conservative investments. That's fine, right? Wrong. If you want to build a sizable portfolio, you have to take on risk, which means you'll have to invest in equities. So how do you determine what's the right exposure for you? To begin, determine your return and risk objectives. Quantify all of the elements affecting your financial life including household income, your time horizon, tax considerations, cash flow or liquidity needs, and any other factors that are unique to you. Invest your equity and fixed income exposures over a range of classes and styles. Do not try to time the market. When one style is underperforming the S&P 500, it is quite possible that another is outperforming. Diversification takes the timing element out of the game. A qualified investment advisor can help you develop a prudent diversification strategy. Are you still wondering how soon you will be living your dreams? And how you could manifest them faster? Simply click on the link in the description below to find out more. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and leave your comment. Please subscribe to this channel for more tips, tutorials, and upcoming videos. Thank you.